Hey guys, today I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step process for how to export, combine, and re-import height maps for Unity Terrain. Now the reason you want to do something like this is if you had segmented terrain that you wanted to turn into a single piece. For example, in this scene I have a square piece of terrain that is made out of four separate terrain tiles. But if for whatever reason you want to combine these into one, then you'll have to export it as a .raw file for Photoshop so that you can view the height map then you will have to combine those height maps and re-import them back into Unity and this can be a little bit tricky now the first thing you want to do to get your export height maps is you want to select your piece of terrain go into your settings in the inspector and go to the bottom where you see height map and you want to export the raw file now the options for this you're going to use are bit16 and mac and don't ask me why because I don't know. Even if you're on a Windows, you're going to use the Mac byte order. Anyways, you're going to want to export this and save it as a raw file somewhere on your computer. After that's done, you're going to need to open up that file that you just created and we're going to use Photoshop to open it up. Now when you're importing a .raw file into Photoshop, you're going to want to make sure that you have the same settings selected as you used to export it. So for here, we have depth to 16 and the byte order is Mac. Another important thing is that for channels, it's going to be defaulted to 2. You want to change that to 1 because if you try to import a height map using a channel count of 2, it's going to say that your specified image is larger than the file. I don't know why. <laughs> I did this all through trial and error. Anyways. You want to make sure that's set to 1 and it'll import correctly. Anyways, once you have your height map successfully imported into Photoshop, you're going to want to go ahead and open up the rest of the terrain files that you created as well. So let's do that real quick. And here we have all four of our terrain pieces separated into their tiles and imported into Photoshop. Now combining them is actually as simple as literally putting the pieces together and then re-exporting that out. So first I'm going to turn my default background layer into an editable layer and then I'm going to open up my canvas size and turn it into a square the same size uh, that would contain all the pieces. So for a 2x2 two two, you just have to double the width and the height and that'll make it 1026 by 1026. And after you have your new canvas, you're going to go into your other files and copy those layers into the main file. And once you have that, you're going to want to arrange them so they make sense. It's, this is a fun part. They come out as a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle. Now, once you have all your height maps combined into one single file, you're going to re-export this as a raw file again. So you're going to do file, save as, a dot, make sure you're saving it as a dot raw, and we're just going to call it terrain combined dot raw. And now we're done with Photoshop, so we're going to minimize it, and we're back into Unity. So now we're going to import that combined height map that we just created in Photoshop. To do this, we're going to create a new terrain. Here it is and we're going to go to the terrain settings we're going to go to import raw and we're going to import the combined file that we just created so we have it with the same settings that we exported it and saved it as so it's depth again bit 16 mac the width now has been doubled to 1026 1026 now when you're importing this you want to make sure that not only has the width and height been doubled to fit the dimensions of the combined height map, but you want to make sure that your terrain size fits the dimensions of the combined height map as well. If we look at the terrain settings for one of our component pieces, we can see that the width and length are actually 3500 units. And so to make a squared version of this of this combined height map, we actually need to make sure that the terrain size fits that. So it actually has to be 7000 units by 7000 units because it's 2 by 2. So here we go, we have our combined height map successfully imported into Unity as one solid piece of terrain. So let's line it up to make sure that we didn't lose any resolution or data when we combine these height maps. To do this quickly, we're simply going to copy the transform 
values of one of our terrain pieces. And this lovely Z fighting uh, confirms that it is the same piece of terrain, essentially. Now one of the quirky things about importing height maps into Unity is that it really only likes them to be square. And this gets tricky when you have a rectangular grid of terrain pieces that you want to combine. So when you do import a rectangular height map on a square grid, you're going to have some empty space to deal with. For example, in this piece here, the combined height map actually looks like this. And as you can see, it had to be squared off with a lot of empty space. But you don't have to texture that, and you can make sure that it doesn't render by culling. So anyways, that's my process for exporting, combining, and re-importing height maps into Unity. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and thank you for watching.